<clears throat> okay, let's kick this can. Da -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Give me that and this. Where's that? Where's my cord? What about this? Where'd you go? There. there it is. Right. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Am I going? We should see it. It didn't clear that. Let me try pushing the button again. Yep. Nope. It's gone. Yep. 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 And that's going. I've got uh, this is okay. I got to change. Crap! I got to be in Firefox to do. And yeah, so it to do things differently. Chrome is not being carried. I'm waiting on uh, my producer. But this stuff here is getting going to be cut. <clears throat> so this is a brand new uh, tunication. R-L-O-G. R-Log. RealLibertyMedia.com. So we see if Ben is that ready. He's having to do some reboots. And he, uh, he brought all the come along here to... Uh, Hang out with me and help me along. I think uh, we're going to be able to do some good stuff once we get this tuned in here. So I also need to bring him in on uh, TeamViewer so he can watch this whole process and then we're going to learn to work this together. And where was I at? Waiting, waiting, waiting. So I'll have some opening music anyways. And for y'all listening live and downstream, not so much. This is, uh, for what it's worth, Buffalo Springfield. It's a cover by Dale McCory Band and Friends. And this will take us along, I think, until uh, we're all ready to run and rock this radio. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, tell me if it's coming through everything, okay? I'll come back to chat.
fading in. And we're going to fade them out. And we're going to come along with the radio about now. So I'm going to come over here and get our good friend who's been doing so much great work at uh, for our uh, work. You're going over here for Hal Anthony. Sorry, I stuttered here. I'm pulling up this link. Here we go. Okay. Well, we'll call you right now, and I'll bring you, uh, bring you in there. This is Ben. This is uh, I've been here 2017. Uh, I have sound minds. He's uh, single-handedly. Uh, ben is responsible for uh, more shares of Real Liberty Media's work going out than any any combined number of people, and uh, we really appreciate all that you do, Ben. And and uh, welcome to the very first in the the premiere of uh, my new series. It's a uh, called radio writing and it's going to be uh, some artunication as, uh, as I build a 13 and a half part uh, tale of the Bundy Ranch standoff and the trial. So I was there in 2014 uh, and I went to Vegas for the trial. It was number 303 uh, on the witness list for the Bundys. And so I'm going to be walking through this and we're going to be going back and forth. There's a lot of topics that are be covered um some three uh, some more than three months to it'll take doing this weekly and so the many many hours there which through the revision i will reduce that down and and eventually come to a point where it is all told in its entirety and we're gonna we're gonna go back as far as 300 years and into the future that that last uh half broadcast well the, the future is uh left open and uh so see where that goes hey ben thanks for coming in and then in brother i um we're gonna have to rethink this because i've said of myself that I'm nothing more than a, a peanut and a row of Snickers in a grocery store can, compared to uh, the many great people that have uh, given so much in not only uh, their time and their lives, people are, are still, their lives are taken from them. We're in a great struggle. Um, I have a lot of information, like I said, to cover. And so it's like piles that I am going to get and bring it over and making other piles. And then you know, they'll... I'll try to put the piles in, in line and then sort through it all. Um, I want to start with an apology and give an account for um, some error in judgment of my own. Um, so in her hearts and in, in being humbled, this is also going to be a section in the, one of the parts in, in this 13 and a half, and it's called the, the Poot Wars. And I'll explain more about that as we go along. But there, there is the what we'll call the two factions of the Poots and the Patties. Now, Poots, uh, Brand Thornton and uh, Captain Carl and I, um, well, they helped refine it. So what, what the, uh, the acronym is Poot and hashtag in it is uh, uh, I said people and they said patriots, which uh, uh, half a dozen one another. We're all seriously, you know, concerned for the, the world that we live in and our future and um, what best ways to approach and defend that. So I, it is uh, people or patriots opposing oppressive, uh, okay, the T, let me spell it, T, tyrants. So, and then the patties I came up with. I had to have a name for them, but I, let me see the poots again. Okay, people or patriots opposing uh I really brain farted on that. We're going to go to patties. So patties are not good, right? You don't want to step in them. We'll come back to all that. Let me be back to the serious side. I'm throwing myself off there. But uh, to first to uh, Angie uh, Bundy. So in these poot wars, I, uh, well, it, I'm going to tell on myself and know how to do it. <coughs> it, it was engagement. It was to... Uh, uh, encourage conversation and uh, some of the words that uh, people hear are, and especially when you're trying to you know be kind of 
sneaky about it in so many ways. I've been trying to call MD Louder out. I told her that uh, I said uh, on the Facebook post that uh, I, she had garnered some of my some respect for me, and and in fact that she had. She was uh, she was standing alone with so many of the uh, Bundy supporters throughout the court. Uh, there's a long story on her, and I only have uh, parts of it, but I was interested to know what it was. I said that, and and this I do stand by, absolutely 100%. And, and I've said, guard your words, and there's no such thing as a bad question. Uh, a lot of people that ended up in, in spending two years in prison uh, over all this, and, and in the end to be acquitted, not not everybody. They, they still have people locked away that should uh, rightfully be free. Um, but FBI informants, uh, I, I, in 2014, it was so obvious. I mean, they, they come around in these little groups and trying to, uh, uh, with these little questions and trying to get you to come along this and that. They're, they went and they tested to find out uh, those people that uh, they would might maybe most aptly or uh, to use them in their own plans to, to move the, in the direction that they would, would want. And, and I'm going to tell you, there's always the infiltrators in any kind of movement. So that is something that should be expected. So, Angie, I, I, I know that that pulled. I, I see that that heart looking. You, I, I, I remember one time you looking at me and it's like you're like, you know, are you going to are you going to be a bad guy or, you know, are you for real? And, and I've been honest throughout all my dealings and I have my integrity. Now, did I go too far? Um, I, I try to, I, I try to wonder, did I? I, I would say that uh, if I, if I went too far, I couldn't go far enough in, in trying to uh, explain myself and, and to tell you that uh, I am in no way aligning myself um, with that party. Uh, I did interview uh, Terry Lionel, an FBI informant, with uh, Brand and me, uh, Chuck O'Chelly. We've, uh, it's about conversation and connecting voices. We need to understand. So I think it's very important that we understand what motivates somebody that uh, would uh, betray uh, a great trust and a friendship. Uh, what would make a person go that way? I'm very interested in knowing. So, uh, Angie, I'm very, uh, I am really very sorry to, I know it caused you great, great pains. I, I understand that I am a, I'm a truth for truth and justice and I am in no way a betrayer. And that, uh, that lends to some further uh, conversation later on. And I'll just briefly mention uh, Corey LeCue. And uh, he's put some videos up, and, and uh, some of it, he's done some good job uh, explaining some things on these informants. Now, I do want to say that uh, Corey has uh, uh, since uh, alienating himself from the Bundys because he didn't think Emmon should say anything about uh, it's okay for folks to come here and need asylum. Well, I, I'm going to tell you about Emmon Bundy. I, I stand with Emmon. Then and now, uh, Ammon is the same man. Uh, it's a matter of how people had perceived them, and they wanted, you know, that uh, golden boy and um, poster child for the, the patriot movement. But the fact is that there are a great many interests uh, alive here in America, and we all always don't see the same side. So in those poot wars, I'm going to be talking about this last year of my engagement with uh, those folks that uh, – uh, a lot of people call trolls uh, from that Oregonian, uh, the uh, Oregon Live site in the chat over there and the Twitter uh, at the Fogbo. A uh, lot, a lot to talk about. And I, I went a long ways. I left, uh, I left here. I'm home now in Arkansas. I left about two years ago, uh, pretty close to exactly two years ago. And i uh, been back a, a half a year now anyways, a year and a half out on the road. And with my, uh, with my travels and tension to, uh, to be in Vegas for the uh, for Cliven and Emin and Ryan and, uh, and Ryan Payne and then of course but they they split everybody up. We're going to talk about how the justice system work works. 
uh, let me let me take a pause and uh, uh, talk to Ben here. Uh, ben, you uh, you do quite a bit of work. You're, I was saying as I was bringing you on, you're responsible for uh, a, a great deal as far as uh, putting the information out and moving it around and, and putting it in the hands of other people. And that is an amazing skill to, to network like that. And I just can't uh, give you enough uh, respect. Yeah, and it's sad that uh, repeatedly, all throughout history, I, I just can't believe people still fall for it, that left-right uh, paradigm that uh, keeps us at each other's throats instead of uh, seeing our common cause. Now, in uh, April the 11th of 2014, uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada, I had uh, heard the, what was going on up there in Bunkerville. Now, I... When I was younger, I went to school in, in Moapa Valley over in Overton, and we played football against Mesquite, and that's uh, over there by Bunkerville, and just a little further down river from that is the, the home and ranch and farm of Clavin Bundy and his family. Uh, I worked in uh, Mesquite. I worked in um, uh, Glendale. I lived in Moapa. I've been all over that country uh, on horseback, uh, three-wheeler, uh, afoot. Uh, hiking, fishing, uh, up and down the river, I uh, found hieroglyphics. Uh, way up the Meadow Valley, Wash, matter of fact, is some of uh, the uh, Spanish conquistadors. They, you know, depicted with their with their helmets on the on the wall, and stuff down along the Muddy River, which actually was supposed to be the Virgin River, and the Virgin River over runs through Bunkerville and Mesquite. It's supposed to be the Muddy River, but they switched them up, curious enough. I, I spent 40 days, uh, well, I split up 28 days and 11 days uh, over in Riverside and set up tent. Uh, after uh, Cliven walked out of uh, the jailhouse after 700 days of being locked up. And quite, quite, uh, quite a bit of crimes of the state that... Uh, So th this will be all added to and added to. And as I build this over the weeks and the months ahead uh, and edit, 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 revise, revise, revise. And I want to, to start off now again with uh, some some gratitude. You're going to hear me say oftentimes how much I, uh, how well I think of somebody. I, I say I love this person and um, this and that. A great respect. And I've, I've met so many people that have done so much and that's when I said earlier that I compare myself to to them I, I'm there there I'm a, just a little peanut so uh, let me get to my notes where I'm looking for yes and then in the end the actual final product uh, and not product the work the art that uh, I'm putting together here and I've got some good help here and we're gonna work through this and uh, learn as we go. So I'm not telling you now that this is a writing. This is the project of the writing. This is uh, accumulating and putting out your structure. Uh, I have uh, a lot of that that uh, will 
be uh, adding to and revealing as I go along. And uh, so they would build this. And in the end, end up with uh, a final revision, which is uh, a lot of a, a symbology in it, that uh, 13 and a half pages and uh, as big as a pocket constitution. And for the history of what's going on in the last 300 years to start to finish, 13 and a half pages. And uh, I, I think it is that simple. Now, a lot of people aren't going to understand that because what they know or think they know is all this that they've gotten from the mainstream media. Uh, I had uh, such a great opportunity in uh, in learning. I mean, okay, uh, my detractors say I, I have no training as a reporter. Nope. I, I just went and did it. You know, I, I've been doing radio since 2013 at UCY and here at uh, – uh, Real Liberty Media for uh, several years as well. Uh, on and off, I go do this, I go do that. Uh, I'm not here just to blab my mouth. Um, but I now uh, I face a serious responsibility, um, and I owe that in a great fact, a great amount of, to uh, the, my detractors. Those, especially uh, Sky Reeve, I met in the uh, uh, Olive Live, they call it O Live. And he says, uh, what are you trying to say? You know, uh, try saying that again. Snarky uh, a little bit, but still enough uh, semi-respect in a way that uh, I was able to to counter and say, okay, well, you know, actually he's right. Um, I, I endeavor to write now, not, not because I want to or ever have wanted to. And if you're listening to me speak right now, uh, you might just imagine what my writing would be like, but I have actually gotten a, a little bit better. And, and uh, a year ago, over a year ago, uh, I set out to uh, improve my uh, uh, communication skills in that writing. And a lot of people that you can hear are plenty of yak and yahoos, right? And most people are out to uh, uh, just pass on their opinion. And uh, from lessons from Behind the woodshed, Hal Anthony uh, we want to move beyond opinion uh, and and go to the facts. Now I'm going to tell you that uh, the mainstream media is definitely biased, and they have an agenda, um, and it's usually uh, to benefit uh, other than the, the public. So we'll stop right there with that, and that'll be some more topic to to take up. Um, so Brian Hyde. Uh, he did the, I met him there in, in uh, Vegas at the federal courthouse and, and got to know him and became friends. And one of the, the men that I, uh, men and women, I'll be clear that, that I have uh, an incredible amount of respect for and, and love that uh, there, there is some uh, bonding and camaraderie and, and like a family that uh, so many of the people were there. And a lot of those people are uh, are attacked and picked on and trolled, and and it's great fun, right? For some folks over on the Twitter, they there's the, the group there, uh, and then they have the other places that they visit, like the the Fog Bow Forum and uh, Olive Live. I haven't been over to Olive in a while, and I, I signed into the Fog Bow, and I never signed back in. I said, "Don't hack me, bro." And they said they wouldn't, but I come over visit anonymously. But I am going to come back in uh, uh, as my actual self because I I don't hide, uh, and I am in fact made myself a public uh, image in effect, being non-anonymous, so that uh, other people that that wish to remain anonymous in their actions uh, can do so. And that's another further story with uh, Corey. Like you, I uh, interviewed him with uh, over at uh, uh, well, Brandon and I went over and we were carrying him around and stuff. And uh, um, so over at Greg Whalen said, "Greg, what a what a great American man that is, a patriot. Uh, all these titles you want to call, uh, when it comes down to flesh and bone, a, a great man is too. There's there's going to be a long list of people that I want to." Uh, tell you about and uh, that will be de developing uh, as we go so now this is kind of we're just nav navigating through here and, and uh, we'll map it out as I go and uh, hopefully uh, 
<laughs> final product and even between will will be something that uh, has merit you know what, what you do has to have value and, and s some people have uh, set different uh, values on things in life so uh, Corey was uh, was talking uh, uh, well I'll, I'll include in the link where the sites are but uh, talking about the uh, the militia uh, this this one particular video is uh, Facebook heroes and he's talking in there uh, about uh, Jason Blongren, Anthony Bosworth and Pete Santilli at the uh, Malheur Refuge now I got I picked up on this post like I said these people over on uh, on Twitter that I I choose to engage with and uh, they've uh, they've bloodied me up a little bit in this uh, poop wars and you know I, when when uh, when they call me out and say hey you know this is uh, needs factual uh, statement you know this and that and challenging me uh, it's made me a better in the in the in the means that. Uh, I, I, I can consider myself to not be biased. I mean, as far as the information, I have all the all the information that I have, uh, and I can still say, out of all that uh, that I've been said against the Bundys, and I've probably seen about everything there is, all the accusations and this and that, uh, I stand with the Bundys, and I stand with those people that uh, stood with them. Uh, in 2014, I, I didn't uh, get to know very many of the uh, the militia. Uh, Jerry Delimus, I did. Uh, a few other folks, and uh, I'll, we'll say or talk about later, and, and perhaps uh, there will be some that uh, wish to make, remain anonymous. Now, Corey asked me to take down that interview that we did, and it was on a Facebook Live. So I, I reviewed it. I, I talked to him and in and, and, uh, Messenger and uh, I told him I, I didn't think there was nothing on there that he'd be ashamed of, and I didn't have anything in support of the Bundys because that's why he went out taken down because he's no longer a Bundy supporter. But uh, I did uh, privatize it where it's only he and I that can see it. Uh, and I told him uh, I wish he'd reconsider and take a look at it and review it. Then uh, uh, if he decides he wants to uh, put it back out, then, uh, then I'll open it. Now, the video... I took it belongs to me uh, now if I was in the mainstream media I'm gonna tell you what I would have told them I, I'd have told them uh, go fly a cat but because I have set out to be completely open and not transparent uh, transparent what does that mean thank you Hal Anthony behind the woodshed learned a lot of great lessons there uh, transparent means you see through so it's a deception. It's a camouflage. It, I want to be completely open, and that's why I say uh, there's no such thing as uh, a bad question. I told the Bundys, it specifically made it a point because of all their betrayal that they've experienced. I, I tell them, and everybody else I encountered, don't trust anybody. Uh, and I will say with that, right now I've uh, uh, have interviewed and investigated. And uh, not only FBI informants, but the uh, a, a specific agent, Ryan English in Denver. And we're going to talk more about that in the Bruce Doucette uh, trial up there, what they call sovereign citizens. Uh, a lot. I've seen so much in how all this works. And and what you hear you know, is true and, and, and worse. So uh, too far in the poop wars. Uh, I've... Uh, I've stuck my foot in my mouth. Let me see if I can uh, say this is uh, what I've written. Uh, and I said, touched on this a little bit a while ago. Uh, well, I could contend that uh, you, if you'd go too far, but you can never go far enough. And that in, is in making amends. And I have another amend and apology to, to give also. And, and, and that, before I begin, at the end, where we're, we're starting out in this, uh, Bundy saga that's uh, a couple of people have uh, referred to that uh, uh, almost uh, in a derogatory uh, means but I'm going to take it and use it and it's not meant at all to uh, to be uh, at all derogatory <clears throat> hey I hear geese did you hear them oh I thought I did something in the background uh, ben, 
Where are you at with me right now? All right. So you're my producer, and I was talking about Brian Hyde and uh, Mo, his producer, and he was uh, out one day. It, it makes it a lot easier having somebody here uh, with you. And, and you and I are uh, – we didn't open up our uh, team viewer. So next week we're going to be, like, uh, doing a little bit more with uh, this. So I've got this video recording now as, as I'm speaking. I just will actually the uh, screenshot. So with that, I'm going to get back up and come over here. I am at uh, reallibertymedia.com in the category is Vincent Easley. Uh, you can find it at Ponder Gander. There are a lot of ways, uh, author, Vine. Uh, but here we are at the Radio Writing Series Preview. It is Standing Matters, the Bundy Ranch Standoff and Trial uh, Report by Vincent Easley II. And that is me. And I click uh, continue reading. I don't know if you can all hear that notification. So here I come. Now, this I've been working on. This is where I've been bringing my piles to uh, make other piles. And I have <laughs> everywhere. I can't believe how much stuff I have and uh, photos and um, different files of, you know, and saved information and, and all in the telling of this and a lot of the stuff that I have. Uh, the works I've been doing, and, and it'll be fun to go back and look and see if, uh, if I can't tell it just a little bit better. Now, I've played a lot of pun through here. Uh, I, I'm calling this a judge, a jury, and half a chance. <clears throat> I, I was going with ha and half-ass chance, and I do come back to that with some amendment that uh, uh, thanks to let me, I've got some uh, notes over here, so I make sure I go in the right order. Here we go. This one is the last one, which is first. Uh, thanks to the, the good folks over there, the crew in Real Liberty Media Radio, at reallibertymedia.com right here, uh, especially uh, Circles and Kate and Chloe for uh, the, the help and encouragement along the way of uh, uh, not being able to write more right, but to to write well and I'm going to jump <clears throat> and Grimner man you are so great we spent the uh, two hours just just almost full two hours before uh, coming to air uh, getting everything set up and, and uh, being a tech tard that I am I know he'll be back to help me with this <clears throat> but I am uh, this is all going to screenshot so it's more than audio, and as it gets a little better, uh, we'll fine-tune it. And uh, Ben has been doing such a great job uh, mirroring Hal Anthony's broadcast uh, that airs here at uh, noon o'clock on the left coast. It's uh, 3 p.m. on the eastern time zone. And tell, let, let's take a, a moment and come in here. And um, We was talking earlier, so I think I've been listening about seven years to Hal, and you said about three for yourself. Uh, how, how did you find Hal Anthony? What what brought you along? Because I think he's a, one of the most important men that, and the most under listened to person there is in the world. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of suffering could have uh, been averted. Hal has been advised has has advised or sent word to the folks uh, back to the Sugar Pine Mine and Now Your Refuge and me in 2014 at the uh, the Bundy Ranch. Uh, I had intended on going to Malheur, but uh, <clears throat> uh, logistics and other reasons, uh, I did not go. Um, or I'd probably been had. I, I think I still would have had sense to uh, not put myself in the position that uh, so many people did. And that's why I go again back to saying, guard your words. Uh, ben, where where did you find Hal?
Yeah, uh, amazing uh, work that that uh, Jules has done. She uh, nearly single-handedly has compiled the greatest array of voices that that can be found anywhere. They, it is by far superior to anything else in the world. And Jules is an amazing person. And uh, did for her health, uh, she had uh, ended in the hospital and she came very close to, to death. Um, so glad that we still have Jules. She's such a treasure. And I can never thank her enough for all that she has done and given to me. That's where I started doing radio is at UCY.TV and um, 2013. Uh, it, let me pause here. I left off again, I, and I do this a lot, so you come circle back around. But that other apology, uh, John Lamb. Uh, I uh, and I'm going to include uh, Kelly Stewart and uh, Joshua Martinez. That uh, that business about the uh, MD Lauder, uh, Melissa Lauder, that. Uh, uh, informant, FBI informant up in Malheur and turned uh, Tom Lockevar Stewart in. Another section. They, these are people that the um, the Bundyville podcast the, from the um, Oregon Public Broadcasting and Long Reads, Leah Satilli and Ryan J. Haas. Um, they did this. And, and it was really a hit piece. And that's what Kelly says. She called it and I quoted her. And I have... Uh, uh, a series of uh, my own Bundyville podcast. Did they uh, tell them where where all that uh, Leah and uh, uh, Ryan went went wrong? Took a wrong turn. Uh, they uh, it was fearing loathing that left Las Vegas and uh, it headed to one horse town of uh, Bundyville. That's uh, back in the uh, the series. And I came to the followers. They sh she called those folks followers. And I, I hit that point right there, and uh, it, it was a, a big wall because this is a very serious. These are people's lives that are, are so uh, belittled and uh, have no value. I mean, to the point of uh, locking people away from the world forever and ever the rest of their life. And I have a long list of those people to be talking about as well. Um, and be it. But for the grace of God and, um, and and a lot that I do credit in having learned from Hal Anthony, uh, that that might have been me. Uh, one of those last holdups, the final four. I, I listened to them as David Fry broadcast, and, and what despair, man! And they, what state of mind were they in? And, and I want to talk more about these guys also as well, uh, Sean and uh, Sandy and. Uh, Jeff Banta, and I met, uh, there's there's more than what people are trying to beat these people up about. Did they make mistakes? I think we all make mistakes through life. And thanks, uh, Al, for uh, being that proper tutelage. And if uh, we could get more people to understand and hear your words and that that road to peace. Law is peace. It brings settlement. And that's what we want. We want the lawless that uh, that's within the government that is the committing the crimes against people to stop. And unfortunately, the so many different uh, perspectives in this world that not everybody sees it the same. So uh, by the time I get done, I'm going to show the lies and the deceit and, and the criminality of this whole procession against not only the Bundys, because it's not about the Bundys, and it's not about the cows. And, and Cliven has said those words himself. And it's not. And other people have said it. And it's not. It is not about the cows. It's not about the Bundys. And it's sure not about saving the tortoise. And boy, I've got some good information for Kieran Suckling. Uh, yeah, he, he uh, challenged me for presenting a scientific study about the cattle and the tortoise on the lamb and I have some good uh, clever quips for him uh, it looks like uh, our friend here sound is now among us known as a guest that you bounced you out of that.
Yeah, we'll get you uh, signed in and as uh, a permanent account, and your name will be safe for forever. Hey, let, let's do a little fun. We're over here in the chat. Let me just come over and uh, say uh, hi to those right here in the uh, the window I'm looking at. And I see Grimner. Again, Grimner, you're great. Thanks so much. There's Chloe. Hello, Chloe. And other folks, you're quiet. There's a long list of uh, 38 other listeners over there. Uh, I wonder if anybody has come along uh, that I don't recognize, because I really didn't do a lot of promotion for the broadcast. Whoops, stop. Uh, move. I'm going to go to the bottom. We got a guest down. That'd be you. Hey, that's a Capitani Vinny. That's uh, a takeoff on my, my super secret identity that I have to use on Twitter to go see posts from people like JJ McNabb and Kieron Suckling and uh, uh, the Bendy, when they call himself sketch artist, <laughs> uh, three-year-old, three-year-old. All right. So this is uh, this is going to be uh, getting some doctrine, and we'll put uh, put these files up out uh, into the uh, Ethernet. All right. Let me remove this note. And I want to go here. This is the most special mention. Uh, a great, great respect and uh, gratitude. Sherry Diwali and Doug Knowles. Sherry Diwali, read out news. Um, she uh, has given me much to aspire to. An incredible writer, reporter. Uh, her, her abilities, uh, are, she learned herself. And she told me, you can learn yourself. And yes, I, I always strive to move forward. Doug, uh, Doug gave me a good lesson. I think it might have been my first or second day out there uh, at the federal courthouse and coming up to report. And, uh, I've always been respectful of people's uh, privacy and make sure that I'm not poking in and intruding. But uh, uh, even in public, sometimes uh, walking around with a camera and just poking it at people um, is not okay. Uh, we're going to talk more, too, about the rules of uh, of journalism. Now, I'm going to tell you what I learned, uh, most importantly, that the rules of journalism is uh, how the public and others interact and treat these journalists, this mainstream media, and not, in fact, as one might suppose, how they treat the public and their listeners. Uh, I... I'm going to go over here. So I, I guess I'm still recording that screen. It's just sitting there, but we have the image anyways. Um, I'm going to go to Twitter. It's like I'm... Do I got to log in? What? Oh, yeah, I think so. So let me log in here and uh, relive it. I was at uh, RTR Truth Media, Tom Lacovar, Stuart, a friend of mine, uh, over these years since uh, we met in 2014. He spent a year in prison in uh, Oregon. For his uh, having possessed uh, what they uh, legally defined as firearm, as a in a felon in possession. And now I'm signed in, and I'll pop over here. So Twitter, I am uh, Vinny underscore R L M underscore Radio. I'm also Ponder Gander, and uh, my super secret identity. Shh, don't tell nobody. I am a Capitani Zani, a Scaramouche, and I ask, do you, Fantango? <laughs> but here I am, the uh, the real me, not the one I have to hide to see what people are talking about because they didn't like what I had to say. Uh, here we are. I, I have a sneak peek, uh, Chapter 4, uh, Kieran Suckling in uh, – our little fun that we had together, and he ended up blocking me. I, uh, he, he, our exchange at one point, he was so he so embarrassed himself that one of his uh, uh, followers called him out on it. And I was so used to being the one getting the criticism. I said, Yeah, well, yeah, I, you know, you are right. <laughs> uh, and, and how I was talking to him, and maybe that had a little bit to do with uh, how why. Uh, J.J. McNabb blocked me because a uh, little sassy and maybe went too far in her opinion. But, boy, I'm going to tell you what, how much stuff I've uh, taken and, and uh, 
endured from from folks and you know what i i smile every time and if i'm wrong or if i don't know for sure how right i am and i might need to know some more uh, i'm glad for the information for comparison so chapter four is gonna be about the ngos the non-governmental agencies and uh, how they affect so much of uh, policy that uh, you know is acted upon as law so from the real liberty media r log i ponder gander the preview, and I've hashtagged all these, the preview is a capital PR, small e, capital V for view. And uh, it's a little play and pun. Uh, PR, you know, of course, uh, public relations and <coughs> the uh, preview. So I, I did a screenshot where I lined out these uh, this uh, little false front production. It looks kind of neat. And, and this looks like a guy with cheerleaders. That's my... Uh, suckling pig right there at top a false front production uh the center for biological diversity kiron suckling it's a stocking horse hustle and the tortoise two-step uh <laughs> shauna cox i heard that from her first the tortoise two-step perfect <laughs> but i'm going to tell you that's exactly what it is it's all lies no moo in 92 and cattle free in 93 that was the decree so staging counter protest and suing federal agencies, removing people and property of vested rights. It's the Bundy Ranch Candle Battle, the realities of extreme environmentalism. It says uh, from the RTR Res uh, Republic Broadcasting, Tom Lockavar Stewart and Lori Anderson standing in the gap and continuing as witness. That's a, me a reporting. I say there, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. And a little bit more of the links and stuff down there. And it looks like a crown. And this, you know, these people that think that they have right to uh, reign and rule and set policy. Now, let me go ahead and just go ahead and talk just a little about about that uh, tortoise, this uh, this uh, tall tale of the tortoise and the hare, hoof and hide the truth it's a actually a shoot to kill and cover up operation and dirty dan love and his backdoor dealings would uh has volumes to tell and we're going to talk about him too and the prosecutor uh my my don't ask don't tell stephen myrie true i mean i'm not making this stuff up this is <laughs> oh who was uh nadia naughty nadia i mad she was uh at the uh prosecution with uh my my and uh, some others in there and i have uh, more to talk about them but i did see that there's no justice it's just us and that's them not you and me <clears throat> you have a drink of water pardon pardon <clears throat> now i'm coming down here 48 minutes in so far it looks like to the to the beginning where i intend to start and that is uh actually at at the end or or, or is it so chapter one is the trial and that's where i start and that's where the revision will bring us down and after all these long words we'll be saying the trial chapter one a judge a jury and a half as chance hope for truth and justice not guilty yes uh clive and bundy after 700 days in jail between uh up in oregon and being brought down here and all the diesel therapy they received that's uh that's america today clive and bundy says uh no surrender no retreat no sir overcoming tyranny in america and uh, Greg Whalen, I better move this mic back. Freedom! And that rang. That rang across the steps and into the doors of the federal courthouse in Las Vegas. The people came and demanded for the truth to be told. The media was complacent in lies. So we had to bring our own press, people that have no training, and others that taught themselves, and others that uh, have great study, uh, a truth and honesty and integrity was brought, and a great way 
that uh, you never really seen uh, at this capacity before. And uh, people by the, the tens to hundreds of thousands, no telling how many people have uh, been able to find out what, what's going on by uh, people like, uh, uh, well, it'll be a long list. I'll, I'll include that's part of it, putting it together. Um, so this is a 13 and a half part broadcast and uh, it began today. So another 13 weeks after today, we'll hope to be concluding it. And, and I, I really got to say though, um, there might have to be some extra parts along the way because there's going to be a lot of information that needs to be put together so I can go in there and uh, throw it all out to have just the right parts. Uh, <coughs> oh, yes, where, 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 did I write these? Okay, I have that to talk about, and that's where I was going as well. I want to talk about, well, the uh, Pro Writing Aid is a great tool, and that's helped uh, quite a bit. And, and also, it confounds me, too, uh, not being uh, a trained writer. <laughs> I find it very difficult, uh, painful, in fact. Uh, let's go find writing momentum. I have such great uh, things to say about this uh, husband and wife. Oh, you know what? I put two T's in writing. There's your irony. <laughs> Christopher and Zena. Let's go to your page. <clears throat> Lots of great uh, resources. Whether you're like me, uh, uh, forced to be an aspiring writer, or uh, even for uh, those that are accomplished writers uh, what a what a great resource here christopher and uh, gina maselli at writing momentum and uh, that's how you can find them on twitter and also a dot com for their website uh, they've got broadcast and uh, all kinds of great information i'm going to go ahead and uh, because this isn't applicable to me but probably still a, a whole lot of information one could learn in there uh, even if you didn't want to write a book, but 10 ways to get your uh, your book noticed. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm not doing for anything except for the obligation, meeting the obligation that uh, Clive and Bundy called for of the, the media to stand and be witness. And that's what I am, number 303. Uh, lots of good stuff over here. There was one that I, I took place in, and first time I ever did anything, like I wrote a chapter in like a series that uh, telling a little story and I started it and like I said this is where I found pro writing aid and it's a free tool and it is about uh, really incredible uh, I'll have to we got set up today and I have all my tabs open in uh, in Chrome and uh, this uh, screen thing here wouldn't work so we had to do it all in Firefox so that's where it is and I'm over here in Chrome right now and so you're seeing what's over there and uh, Next week, uh, it'll be more uh, more stuff here. And, and uh, Ben's going to be, man, this guy right here knows what he's doing. So we're going to be learning this together. And I'm just going to be like looking like I'm a really a, a genius in the final edit, <laughs> thanks to his help. Um, I'm scrolling over here and talking, so I'm not even able to read. But I do invite you over there. Matter of fact, uh, let me do this. And I meant to do this, but... so. So much time to double it. It's to bring over the uh, the tabs over here so that we could see them in the screenshot. So I'll do that. I should be seeing it, right? Let me pop that thing open. See what it looks like. Yeah, there it is. It's showing it. So this is kind of cool. It, it'll get better and learning this along the way so minimize that there we go so you guys are seeing what i'm seeing now oh i gotta log in well i won't it's because i'm fire flux oh why don't i let's do it that's my secret so Oops. I think y'all can see it. Um, I 
password? Oh, I didn't put my password. Can you see if I type? Let me see. Diego. All right. It's a long one. Save it. Hey, it's a Capitanizani. Hello, Chris Regina. Let's go look at this guy so I can tell you what it is he he thinks. One of the many Vinnies and shh, again, my secret identity. You go away. You're in the way. Here he is. Free hugs, everybody. Scaramouche. And uh, uh, another one of the Vinnies is the uh, paraphrase plagiarist. So <laughs> some compilations that uh, uh, sometimes are not noted, but usually. <clears throat> and I was taking all this together. I, I looked at all these words and, you know, just discovered who he was. And I was inspired by Don Quixote. He's, uh, oh, that's his hit. very clever, uh, Cervantes Mount. So if you know who uh, Capitanizani and Scaramouche is, they were the same person in uh, two different identities. One, the clown, Scaramouche, and uh, Capitanizani, the captain of the guard. And he had been wronged uh, by the nobleman, and uh, he set about this great uh, plan of revenge. It uh, took about all of his life, and I invite you to uh, discover more who the not me is so it says uh it is true i come to discover secrets but more to trust than to suspect fitly nothing but words gratify me and he's from scaria mush two different words very interesting if you take the time and look you see i take a ponder gander that is look when you guys can see this in the video, you'll see the clown with the free hugs. Um, some advice I got. So I'm talking like you can see a lot of times. And uh, so Tom told me when I was in uh, riding around with uh, with Clive and Bundy um, here this last year, he and I and uh, and they had a photographer, uh, Tay Wiles from High Country News, had sent him out and. Uh, pretty neat guy I spent five years in uh, was it Tibet or the uh, the steeps over there uh, Mongolia that's that's where it was uh, a Andrew uh, what's your last name um, sorry it'll come back to me but anyways we rode around spent the day and um, it's very interesting and I have a lot of video and uh, stuff I shot there that is so long and needs to be looked to to see what's good to, to go so Again, more and more of the story of uh, the Bundyville, the Bundy, the Bunkerville, all these words they call it. Um, and usually then the people try to make and turn it against truth. Here is uh, Sky Reeve. That's a, that's a takeoff on the word, uh, the, the Shire Reeve, where we get the word sheriff. Um, this guy right here, now... Captain Carl and uh, uh, a cryptic uh, Cardiff uh, that stepped up to help with Ryan Bundy's uh, campaign for governor. Now this, they, they think that these some of these guys are deep state. Now, like I said, I've spent a, the past year in relationship with these a uh, couple few of these guys. There's Ryan Haas. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell you, there's a you know a lot of people that have opposing ideas that. They're, they're not, you know, paid trolls. Everybody thinks that everybody's getting a check from George Soros or uh, uh, whoever that guy is on the right that they uh, claim. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to sit down here just a second and uh, think just a bit. So Captain Carl, uh, I mean, these guys, they, there's a group of them, and they are hard and heavy. They look to pick apart anything they can against the, uh, those of us they call poots. Now, I I battled pretty hard and heavy with them for a while, and uh, I set the rules as you know. Well, first of all, I can't control what anybody says, but I can tell them that uh, when you're you're using logical fallacies, then that you don't have any. Uh, there's no validity. You know, you you can't say you're stupid because your shoes are red. You know, or they drag any other herring. A red herring um, 
ad hominem, just one after another. And and it's I figured it out. And this is just about a week ago. What is this? Because you know the like Carl Captain Carl saying, you know, pay trolls. Other people will say that, but it, it's a it's like a tabloid. Um, and then I then I had to stop and, and ask myself, did uh, am am I is that what intrigues me is the tabloid news. But I, I do use it as a resource to uh, keep up because uh, they, they keep track of everybody. So it's the easiest way to know what's going on is following these guys. And they've been a pretty good resource for me. And you know what? I, I, I hope I did not neglect. I did, didn't I? I did not. And I set that down. I only mentioned names. And I need to go back and tell uh, John Lamb. Um, I, I, I played some... Uh, Play on words, and you know what? I was like, the the Christian thing to do is, you know, if you got a problem with, uh, especially with a friend or a brother, you 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 go talk to him. Now, I was down in Texas, and uh, as it the plans were, I was going to meet up with John, and we were going to uh, to Waco over to the uh, um, where the uh, that uh, the they call them Branch Davidians were burned down, and uh, he went to interview some of the survivors. So I was going to meet him, but. Uh, they went past by me, and I kind of honestly had my feelings hurt a little bit, and so I thought I'd bloviate a bit myself, and and it, and then I, 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 you know, that that's not the right thing to do, and I thought, you know, what if what if something happened to me, or or him, and and I never went to make that that right, and I've still not spoken to him, and I, that uh, being said, that is. Uh, I can't just say it on the radio and make it right. So I will be calling John and, and talking to him and tell him, explaining. And, and uh, you know what? I already know what he's going to say because John is a good guy. But uh, you know what happened? Uh, right after that, you know, this – and he he gets in a wreck and almost dies. It's miraculous, uh, miraculous that he lived through it. And what a hard lesson for me that, that I thought, wow, you know, I might not have had the chance, and here I am all these many months later and still haven't. It's, it's not good. So I, I do like to be able uh, to make wrongs right when I can. I have a, I have a list right here of spe some special people that I call angels. Uh, Randy, and Red Bear, Brand. Uh, Jamie and Elaine, Ron Miller, Michelle, a real short one right there, uh, wonderful, great people, that, and, and rescuers, and, and mentors, and uh, Ron, uh, amazing, and thank you, Michelle, I asked to uh, continue this, this strive and drive for towards what's right. And, and it is not a matter of opinion. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Um, Brian Hyde was talking about that in in uh, uh, I listened to the broadcast earlier the other day. I tell you, so I was re-listening. But he says uh, he says uh, uh, he's talking about the unraveling of right and wrong in our world. I mean, that's where he's talking about his producer Mo and his back and people to call and ask. How he was doing, um, and in this this unraveling of a right and wrong, this world that we live in, there there are absolutes, um, and and he said that one should cherish the the truth, even or especially when it is inconvenient, and that's what we saw in. From the Bundys and those that that stood with them, I, I say I say Bundys, it's et al. And that's even legally described. Uh, whatever it takes, this wit, keep your wits, where that was tried to even be turned against them. You know who who, do, who does whatever it takes was uh, the government thugs. They uh, they did whatever it takes. They had kill list. They had no regard for for the even the legal inside the law. None whatsoever evil evil and that's that's what uh 
That's what we're all collectively have against us. And you don't think that uh, if you're a Republican that the, the Democrats and vice versa are, uh, you know, the bad guys. And that's, <laughs> we're all in the same, same boat. <clears throat> So I think I've gone through these here. I've got pages and pages that I'm uh, out of sorts with there without having them put back together. I'm kind of reading here. Yeah, I'm just talking about um, is ignorance is no excuse. Let me set these out of the way. Uh, I'm going to pick this up as a reminder to uh, check out the Bundy Ranch uh, Bundy Ranch. Uh, standoff playlist real liberty media all together one word on the uh, youtube channel we run out of past the hours consider going for an hour at a time uh, and i know that uh, for content it'll probably be needing a lot more than that and let me uh let me take a quick run through over because this i did not at all get to uh, all the stuff i wanted to but Nonetheless, uh, this is just the setting up, the, the preparing of this, the, uh, the building of the broadcast. So I'm just going to go through all my uh, tabs. And I haven't been over here to chat, so howdy. Yes, Frumpy Donkey O-T. You, you spelled it O-T-I, but it's O-T-A-Y. Donkey O-T. <laughs> Very clever. Donkey O-T. In other words. Here's something I've been holding on to this little tab, and <clears throat> I, I'm the Ponder Gander, and you'll you'll see me here. And Real Liberty Media is a Ponder Gander, and Twitter, and uh, over on my one of my other Facebook accounts, uh, kind of the the uh, slave me that you know does the automatic stuff, <clears throat> the like videos from YouTube, la de da. They go to uh, the Ponder Gander Twitter account, and uh, Vince Easley, the uh, Ponder Gander Facebook account. So this is uh, this is from Go Go Sticks. I might be doing some free ads, of course, and unendorsed. But when I do use other people's work, I do want to source that. So this is a uh, Go Go Stick. Uh, got goose poop. Here's the scoop. <laughs> uh, picking up goose poop. Now, if you think that sounds crazy, you just wait and hear what else I'm gonna tell you about. Uh, and I want to run through a little bit of preview. And, and to do that, I'm going to go to RLO, that's realliberty.org. And I'm going to go past an hour by a long shot. And I have I have this great guest and uh, producer with me, and I ain't even hardly learned to say that. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me, uh, let me copy this and go back to Firefox so you all can see it. <clears throat> and I remember to do that. <clears throat> and a new tab so sky reeve we have a, a lot of engagement and like i said i've uh benefited a lot by some of these guys the uh, stupid hurts uh, uh and some other folks let's see where are we at here i am i probably have to sign in no i unlike uh freedoms network uh you don't even have to be a member to come over and view these uh, the post here which I really like because a lot of people ain't interested in signing up all over the place right here's that uh, haha how you like that that's uh that's Kieran suckling's crown he's king of the kooks but I want to go down here to tell you about the tortoise here's a I found some pictures from 2014 that uh, <coughs> had been tucked away and here's one that just came to light it's pete santilli and jason patrick that is in the middle of interstate 15 and that is a toco wash right there that you're seeing that's where they what they called the the battle of bunkerville or the bundy ranch standoff took place and <clears throat> when all them cops back there when it was all said and done they left i myself counted 180 uh, cars leaving so there was at least 180 agents there and you got to figure there was probably a lot of them had two folks in there maybe three maybe four i've heard numbers that they're uh i think as bobby powell might have been said it um 
a couple of thousand. <clears throat> it was Bobby. And, and afterwards, even after they stood down, they still amassed in an incredible uh, army there. I'm talking army, not, yeah, army. Uh, and he said that was subjection. Or he's guessing, but all the, uh, all the motel rooms, hotel rooms are all sold out mesquite. And then there's some other uh, unsubstantiated uh, things he added in there. <clears throat> Here's a uh, Ammon E. Bundy. Ammon left uh, Twitter, but uh, I think I I think I know who this is that took it up for him. And uh, I've known her from since 2014, and we've uh, <clears throat> had some quite a bit of interaction since. Um, just their style. I'm gonna have to ask her, <clears throat> but. I'm sure she didn't want me to blab it out. Um, here's a big long list of crappy lies here from, uh, who's this from, well, oh, it's a public broadcasting, where is it at, where's my link? Yeah, there it is, pbs.org, Frontline. You know, Frontline quoted me, too. Uh, so, it was the largest armed uprising against the federal government in a generation. And thanks, Hans. Uh, we had some discussion in the chat, and uh, <clears throat> I put this bit of information together. I thought that it really came together well, nice, uh, a well, nice, real nice, a well. The uh, the battle the battle of Bunker Hill was fought on June 17th, of 1775, during the siege of Boston. However, it was fought on Breed's Hill. Now, the battle of Bunkerville was a protest in the spring of 2014 during the Department of Interior's raid on the Bundy Ranch. Now, it actually took place in the Toco Wash for the most part, but hey, it's a legend and lies. Got to live on, right? Legend and lies. I'm coming to it. Where is my turtles? I'm scrolling. We're going to catch a, catch a turtles. They're quicker than you think. Here it is. Maybe i just highlight it. And uh, I also have included with this uh, Am and Bundy and, and uh, Brian Hyde together. And they're going to have this fixed here, the, the Joe Carey show. And uh, let's see, a liberty effect with Am and Bundy. So the tortoise, the desert tortoise, in relation to cattle grazing, and this comes from, uh, I believe it was 1980, uh, Vernon Bostick. And it is the uh, historical evidence, uh, and that would include uh, 300 years of tortoise and cattle cohabitation, that early history. It comes from the uh, journals, uh, Arizona to education. And I'm going to open it up. <clears throat> it's, it's more than I'm going to read, but uh, I want you all to be able to see this. And then I'm going to cover it more and talk more about the tortoise because it's such a big fat lie. You know that there's less tortoises where the cattle are moved out. Uh, Forty years uh, science at the uh, Nevada test site, no cattle, uh, almost no tortoise left there. What happened? How come it didn't open? I must not have it. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Well, it happened indeed. Let's try this. Why? And I might have to go capture it elsewhere. Which I will. Uh, post, post, post right here. And then I'll bring it back. You can see Jason and Pete again. Those, all those folks down there are standing in the gap. You know, there was a lot of scared folks that day. Then sensibility saved a very bad saved from a very bad situation happening. <clears throat> well, let's see if we can get it this time. I don't know. Copy and carry. No, no, it's a good link. Maybe it opened over here. Yeah, there it goes. It's a PDF. It did open. Back on Firefox, the desert tortoise in relation to cattle grazing, it is the uh, uh, historical evidence. 
from uh, Vernon Bostick. For you listening right now, uh, journals.uair.arizona.edu. Um, some PHP uh, the, uh, rangelands article probably get you there <clears throat> uh, in here it, it uh, gives a lot of uh, history of uh, cattle on the land and overgrazing and uh, the, where the Taylor Grazing Act came in in 1934 and just some few short years before then there was a period of time when it was a free-for-all and that's why the, the uh, Taylor uh, grazing Act came in. It it was uh, it ca caused se it gave settlement. It, it in that uh, gave peace. Wait a moment. I see you there. I have to catch up on links. I hey man, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> left you out there by yourself. Um, next week uh, we'll be on Team View together, and I think uh, then we could uh, we'll we'll develop our uh, relationship. Uh, Thanks, Ben. I, I really appreciate it. I love what you're doing, and um, we're, we're going to see what kind of collaboration we can bring together. <clears throat> the tortoise and the hare hoof and hide the truth. More like that. Shoot to kill and cover up. So anyways, during this time, there was, uh, there was uh, drought, great drought, one of the, the biggest droughts that they'd seen. There was uh, way more cattle that on the land that it could carry. Uh, there's all the numbers in here, how much uh, uh, food uh, uh, feed is consumed and converted and laid back down on the ground and so forth. The number of, to the number of tortoise per square acre, uh, square mile, and uh, other factors. So what, what we find out about the tortoise is he likes poopy. Yep. Sheep, goat, uh, cow, cow penny. Yep, they like it. So here that is, and uh, you can read it for yourself, and then I'm gonna break it down more. It said, uh, "Just get, we're just getting uh, our feet wet here this week." Man, I have put a lot of stuff together, and I have still, I've, I've got way more left to do than what I've done, and it's taken me a lot to get to this point, which. <clears throat> When I'm looking at it, it's like, wow, man, all that, and you ain't got much done, seems like. But this uh, this broadcast is in an art artunication, a, a, uh, a used production that uh, will proceed as it goes. And, and uh, like, uh, hopefully at the end, uh, after I've got all this paint slung about, uh, you'll be able to, to see the picture. Uh, the one that we're getting from the mainstream media, of course, is uh, it's a bunch of cock and boom. And I'm going to demonstrate a lot of that. Uh, let me just go pop or Oh, you can't see this. So I'll have to uh, grab again and carry over to the Firefox. Let's see if I go open this. This is one that Circle uh, helped me with, and uh, she's... Uh, be an inspiration for certain an encouragement and so she put this together and then we put some stuff and <clears throat> I left off doing more work there because I was doing the uh, the uh, all the graphic whatever you call it and then when I go copy and paste and bring it back over to uh, do the blog it would uh, lose all of its uh, stuff you did to it hey what's the matter here Let's see here. Copy and paste. It's going about blank. What did I do wrong? Oh, well, that's what. It's, uh, it's a Google Doc. So, anyways, this is, this is full of stuff. Uh, some I pull, uh, pulled out and carried to other places. I'll go back and uh, we'll run down through there. So, in here, this there's more to continue adding to the list. I'm going to lay out the timeline, uh, which was supposed to be today. Lay out the timeline of uh, the, the trial. Uh, and there were set to be three. They broke it into three tiers. And uh, tier one went uh, second, which was actually, I think, third or fourth. Oh, uh, yeah. The the government, the state, if, if they don't win the first time, no worries for them. They'll bring you back and charge you again. So here's... Uh, 
to setting the timeline at the courthouse and uh, here's some with uh, John Lamb and me there'll be some from uh, David Fleeman and, uh, Kelly Stewart uh, the Jamie and Elaine uh, there'll be a lot of pe people here uh, this stuff I oh you can't see it I have uh, some music interludes that I might need to throw out um, so I guess it's not doing a lot of good to look here. Let me go out to another one that I might bring. Which one? Oh, yeah. Here's uh, just so we can see it. Let me bring this because uh, this was what I was talking about. Corey McHugh. Let me bring that to Firefox so we can put it in the picture. So that's taking more time to do that. Uh, it's no worries because I have uh, two rules. I think they're two. Is uh, no worries. <laughs> I've got about covers it yeah <laughs> so now we'll be able to see this and this wasn't the video I was listening to because I listened to the whole all of them uh, yeah this is this is really good and great advice don't be a Facebook hero your mouth uh, you've heard that whatever you say can and will be used against you will is the key word uh, let's see um, Greg Burleson, 68 years, not for something he did, but uh, for something he said that he would would do, or uh, some hypothetical uh, future event. Drunk, they got him drunk. FBI come in there and set him up, set him up, take him down. The setup for the takedown, the stalking horse. They got, you know, deceiving and lying. So here you see this, uh, and this is a, uh, from Narcissus Training. And I'm not sure who, but I do have a guess. I, I'm going to guess who the the actual uh, author of this uh, this uh, channel is. <clears throat> but I'll keep that to myself. It's somebody I do know. And uh, those over there at the, uh, the Foghorn, <clears throat> I'm sure they got it figured out. So a lot of information over there, too, to glean. And, and uh, we're not enemies. We're all on the same time. It's the same side, I mean. <laughs> We're running out of time now. Okay, there that is. And let me go back to Chrome and see where else. And all these uh, tabs. So I went through there. And there is that. That, uh, that right there just tells you how big a lie the whole thing that started this is. And this is still a work in putting all these together. And but I'm back over here where you can't see. Um, that leaves me about done. I'm going to do take this over here. This is another uh, episode from uh, Brian Hyde. I like listening to Brian. And... Kate Daly, some uh, Am and Benny. There's that. They got a pretty good array of broadcasters. And then some people call to lean to the right, but there's the liberty, the ideal of libertarianism. If you want to put titles on. Okay, so I'll do open here. And again, uh, Brian Hyde, thanks. I'm going to take a look over here because I did not go through everything that I <coughs> had. So we'll do it anyways one day. Well, I do not like a Firefox a lot. But anyways, there's the title in it. SoundCloud.com is still listed as the uh, Joe Carey Show 2018 9 13. Uh, Loving, Liberty, Li Loving Liberty with Brian Hyde. Let me drop over. This is, uh, this is a beginning set up here for where we'll bring the blog. You know what I do want to do? I uh, do, I do. Want to open another Real Liberty Media? I want to go 
uh, where I left off in my previous uh, broadcasting series, series, I'm serious, series, and this Bundyville, because where I hit that wall, I ended, because people are people, they're real, and they're not, uh, I, Leah, I mean, you just, I even see the video that you describe. what a distortion, distortion, and if you're going to be, gonna be prejudiced admit it if you're in favor of someone or something don't be afraid to admit it don't be ashamed stand up be proud be proud here's a here's our uh array over here at uh, real liberty media behind the wall the freakers ball grammy grammy's rocket chair the dork table in a perfect world grim leftovers 20 percent off the road less traveled on hiatus here. I am uh, Ponder Gander. And then you see all posts in uh, the RLM news. Let's take a Ponder Gander and open it up and take a look inside, shall we? So with uh, my friend Flash, uh, I've uh, he and I have done a lot of radio <clears throat> for a few years. We've done a lot of radio together, uh, different speaking styles. And I probably, since I... Uh, take uh, authorship on uh, so many of these. Uh, <laughs> put a disclaimer: if uh, words offend you, stop right here. And uh, so it's just some of the collaboration. It's good. Uh, it's good that we can talk. Um, some people don't know how to talk. The others endeavor to do so. So here we go. Uh, this was my preview that. Um, putting stuff in and bring it together and eventually it'll all be in order and then we can condense it in uh, this is some of the stuff I've done here this uh, this is a video right here the battle for the American West Wayne Hage uh, rancher persecution and uh, bureaucratic tyranny out west uh, this video was a recording of Wayne um, speaking I feel get where uh, <clears throat> anyways uh, Andrea Parker recorded it and I asked her for uh, permission to uh, to upload it <clears throat> and she was gracious enough to uh, to allow that so here's why I left off <clears throat> in the uh, Bundy Bundyville uh, podcast review of the followers and, and I I tried to use words I was called thinking myself a word crafter or something <laughs> yeah so Bundyville the followers that's where I ended and, and like I said it it stopped me that the uh, inside because I, I felt like you know can I respond in a couple of sentences and tell about a person and tell that that life or who that person is uh, I'm gonna endeavor to do so on some people and uh, what they did and what they've been accused of by others is uh, is a big fat lie. Um, uh, let me just go down to the bottom of uh, this broadcast series of the uh, Bendyville review. <clears throat> this uh this right here needs edit in. Uh, I don't know what happened to the text. It's gone, but I do have a copy of that. This is a, a Ponder Gander podcast blog from yeah. May the 18th to 2018. Uh, Clive and Bundy, American terrorist or patriot. Uh, Mike Stickler, uh, another one of those guys that uh, is on that big list of a uh, great mighty. Uh, thanks. He he, uh, he gave me his book, and it, it is a good book. We uh, review it here in the second hour. <clears throat> and like I said, I have uh, some fixing to do. The text is gone. Now, within, uh, I, I set this up knowing it was coming in the to have to be talked about in the broadcast, the White Horse Prophecy, and I speak with uh, Brand Thornton, who was uh, very informative in telling us what that is and uh, how it relates to the current situation. On past, there's always something out there to the first response to Leah and Ryan. And this is from uh, June the 8th of this last year. 
Bundyville, the battle begins again. I get really love this one coming up here. <laughs> I thought so clever. Uh, in the second part, she talks about uh, the bomb and uh, life out there in, in the desert and basically calls Cliven a big fat liar. And then tries to humanize him, which she got a lot of crap from from uh, some fella. And it's in there in the blog uh, of her initial <coughs> attempt to present him as a, a loving old dawdling granddad. And I'm going to tell you, she didn't do that for fairness, which she claims to uh, be unbiased. Nope. Uh She's biased. Believe that. She she only said that just as an attempt to, man. She I call her out on a lot of stuff. <clears throat> so here we go. Hey. Uh huh. Oh well, I heard somebody back there, but I didn't know. Who. Uh yeah. I heard so. You stay, stay here with me. Stay here with me. No cussing. You, you can do it for me, please. Cool. Uh, love you, sir. Thanks so much for your help. And uh, she, uh, she added a pr pretty cool little story. This has been a great inspiration. And uh, <clears throat> if I was a little bit closer, I, I think she'd probably uh, be a taskmaster. Uh, master. Now I was looking specifically. Y'all can see these as I'm scroller. We'll be able to see them. So uh, this is some uh, the past cast. I was looking for that one. There's one on uh, this one that is on uh, BitChute. So don't forget to shout out to BitChute. So this is the Real Liberty Media's most uh, most watched uh, over there. I think it ain't no fun when the rabbit has a gun. And that is the end. So I, I've, where is that? Uh, you remember when, when I was doing the one, it was uh, uh, Fear and Loathing left Las Vegas? Flasher. You're not talking to me no more? I'm going to scroll again. So... You know, mute me. I'm looking at some of our broadcasts here together. I was looking for one in particular. Did it not go here? Uh, you know what? I bet it's, uh, oh, yeah, it's in the subtitle. So which one did I subtitle it in? I know. The bomb. Yeah, the bomb. I, I think this is it right here. <clears throat> <clears throat> what bus did I take? The short one you're talking about? Oh. <laughs> The old gray dog, she ain't what she used to be. Thank you. This isn't the one, but uh, this is this is worth uh, <coughs> reading. I, I'll just start at the top. Bundyville, the bomb. This is a review part two. Cussing mad from Long Reads. Paranorum, par, uh, paranoia is the punchline in the Bundy cult classic from Leah Satelli's second installment of Bundyville. Leah lays a brush broadly on the canvas with a panorama that leads the listener to a fixed perspective of the views on land use <coughs> out west. Excuse me a second. Call it crazy, Cliven's resistance. Uh, Decades-long encroachment by federal bureaucracy pushing production off the land that would effectively manage him out of business. Uh, but Leah might just call that crazy talk or paranoia. She said crazy talk and paranoia. I say it's a shoot to kill and cover-up. Rural ignorance is how the podcast would have you see a hell no attitude that led into the assault on the Bundy Ranch by rogue federal police agencies. Complete with a kill list, people like Dan Love and Stephen Myrie carried, uh, 
carried out. They did. A, a don't ask, don't tell. You, I'm not making that up. That's what the uh, that's what their witness said. Their own witness said to tell it, tell it like it was again. Um, don't ask, don't tell. And then he got fired because you know, he wouldn't play along with these illegalities. Uh huh. Brady and Giglio violation. We ended up with as uh, Cliven not guilty. And uh, where? So well, it was the uh, don't ask, don't tell. When it all cost hard roundup operation it ending. That ended with the dismissal with prejudice in court, uh, January the 10th. And I, I wrote that it was January the 8th that that happened. So <clears throat> I see that I wrote that wrong. And I have some other corrections to make from, from some time. So Bundy Ranch under fire. It ain't over. That was January 10th that that happened. That was in front of uh, Sheriff's Department. And uh, like uh, Gillespie, uh, that other coward and chief over there, he, uh, he ain't going to do nothing that's is right media moguls on the move now i've i've highlighted some stuff and it'll all be inside the uh, podcast uh, and uh, it hasn't changed at all the attack continues so we find apple pie propaganda it's the 1948 smith munt act it had prohibited the federal government from domestically disseminating any government Produce programming intended for a foreign audience. That all changed when the ban was lifted on July in July of 2013. Hey, just in time for the Bundy uh, saga. Yeah, they come along FBI undercover as a film crew. Yeah. Hey, tell me what you would like to do. Here, have a, have a. Yeah, have some more whiskey. But yeah, sure, sure. No, you're fine. No. Yeah, everybody, I love you. I'm sure. Uh huh. Greg, I need to let you out. Where's that other one? There it is. Yep, yep. Let me come back to this list. I do, at least I leave off. Schaefer Cox. Bruce Doucette. Now he's out of category here, but separate, but still the same. Todd Engel. Jerry Delemus. Greg Burleson. That's a, that's the small. Small, small start of the list of po- po- politi- political prisoners. Do you hear me? Leah. Hello. Uh, so, paranoia flanks today's broadcast. Cussing mad. Uh, Ponder Gander on Real Liberty Media Radio, RLM Radio, the Bundy Ranch in Oregon standoff, Bundyville, the bomb, podcast, and Dirty Harry is hashtags. Leah is a lion mouthpiece for the tyrant she works for. I wonder why she didn't play any clips from dash, the dash cams when police are screaming, Get the F down, you stupid mf Or, Shoot now, ask questions later. Paranoid? Or is someone, is someone really out to get them? That's what they said in court. Oh, you're paranoid. You're on fishing expeditions. This is what the prosecution told Ryan Bundy. You know what Ryan said? Finally, finally. I mean, you, you can't hide it. They they, held, they hid it for oh so long. But it just got so much. They, they just couldn't keep it covered up. It's like them cows that they killed and covered up. Can't hide the stink. Oregon Public Broadcasting, you are worthless. Excuse for news. You are not the watchdog of the people. You are the lapdog of the government. Thank you, Kelly Stewart. Absolutely. And my apologies to, apologies to you and again to Josh Martinez for being so, uh, well, vague, not, not obvious, I guess. Uh, big mistake. That yes, it was the hoof and mouth, the uh, boot heel. Expedition and the poop wars. Let me come along and uh, I really want to get another one. Which one was it in? The uh, hey, you know what? I bet it maybe it was in the first one. I should have looked at all this stuff, but <clears throat> so I had my notes ready. But I have too much to even get to here. This, yeah, this is it's the first one I remember now. In the in series, this is a first response to the Bundyville 
uh, podcast. Come on, open for me. Or am I trying to play? Oh, trying to play. Well, let me do it different. I'm going to have to stop that. Y'all might be even hearing that. I don't hear it. We'll have to check that, Grimmer. <coughs> See if it does play through. This is it. This is the one. Now, you've seen uh, maybe the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Come on, are you going to open for me? The movie with... Uh, who played? Johnny Depp. The psych... Whoops. The psychedelic road trip. It is it. <clears throat> Perfect. So... This is uh, Long Reads uh, Review Part 1. And by the way, Long Reads has a lot of great authors and writers and publications of a wide uh, variety of stuff that is <coughs> uh, very interesting and good information and uh, fine publication. So it uh, falls to me to, to correct them because they've, they're in the top 10 of uh, podcasts. In America, uh, such notable people as uh, other mainstream paid propagandists. That's right. So here we go, the opening. Well, the Bundyvale trailer opens in, well, the wide open west. Leah Satilli paints her portraits of her, of, uh, paints her portrait of the Bundys as them that would like to be seen as cowboys. That's what she said. Oh, they're not real cowboys, are they? They just work cattle and grow hay and farm and this and that. But <clears throat> they're not. Who is a real cowboy? Was it them contract cowboys that come out there that, on the hard roundup? Was that them, Leah? So them, uh, she says she calls them that would be seen as cowboys and that gathered a posse of people calling themselves patriots. Okay, don't say you're not writing biased and have opinion. Don't think that you're uh, fair and unbiased. You're painting a picture. You're preparing the audience for this uh, tall tale that it is that you tell. Uh, Leah, Leah further declares that there were no cowboys, only gunslingers. And furthermore, that power and privilege bred a belief that uh, led them to see themselves in their own hero story. <clears throat> yes, that is in response to you, Long Reads, Oregon Public Broadcasting, Leah Satilli and Ryan J. Haas. Y'all have not answered me, but I do see in some comments uh, a couple of times that uh, I do know that you have, uh, but you'd never admit it. That's, uh, that's another one of those uh, media rules. Mm -mm, don't admit it. Don't talk. Mm-mm. Don't ever admit it. Leah, you lied. Again, thank you, Kelly Stewart. She did lie. Bundyville is a slur piece painting a false picture from a perverted agenda. Yep. We're going to crack that right open on like the uh, egg on the face for a uh, Curon suckling. This Curon suckling pig man. Yes, we, uh, we did a little dance, he and I. In the federal courthouse. I'm going to come to that too. And show some video. Tom made a video and put more stuff. Great job. And then they busted his account. YouTube did. You know all those fake claims. <clears throat> so yeah. It is a perverted agenda. Uh, Satilli suggests Bundy's following. Uh, might resemble a cult. Ultimately her reporting. Never really supports that characterization. Uh, Satilli opens with an aggressive, aggressive hint of a gotta hear both sides approach to uh, Bundy. <clears throat> but, and here's what I was talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me, that guy was saying. But she decisively uh, concludes that Bundy's key claims are mistaken. And uh, see more there. Oh, that was from the, podca the podcast that explains Trump's America from Ryan J. Haas. And this uh, from the ringer.com. Uh, on down in here, you can see uh, when you're seeing is uh, <coughs> later down the stream. Here is uh, what did Cliven uh, actually mean when he said, tear down those places. 
because that's uh, something that, oops, stop. That's something she was uh, making other wild lies and accusations in her podcast. And there's full of, it's full of it, I'm telling you. And we're going to point them out in specific as they go along. And they're a big old compilation. There we are. So now this is, uh, again, true, as I had taken off for some time. But A Ponder Gander with Vincent Easley airs live every Friday at noon central. <laughs> Germner has 1 p.m. Eastern. But uh, noon central is not only a time and place, but uh, it is that, that location that is right here, right now. Central noon in Al Anthony's noon on Sundays uh, <coughs> on the left coast. So I did how many, what, six of them, right? Or five, I think it was, <coughs> response. And then the next one in line was uh, the, uh, oh, oh, some stuff going on up in Reno back in the 70s, uh, some bombings and the Sagebrush Rebellion and um, really trying to paint, paint it out that, <coughs> look at these guys, they're, you know, they're, uh, they're not like us. They're outdated. They, uh, you know, they need to go the way of the dinosaur. <clears throat> and and that is really, let's just think about, look back in, I don't know how you old you are, but I'm 54, so even just back to the 70s. And that's when it, that that wave right there, that assault, see there's multiple, multiple wars. You know, you the, the war on poverty, uh, uh, the war on drugs, you, the war on terrorism. You know how well all that works, right? <clears throat> let me uh, let me have this water. Uh, I'm gonna mute up, take a big drink of water. Be right back. Ah, thank you. <clears throat> a little better. Horse, of course. And glasses back on. So next week I'll have this set where <coughs> my tabs, I'm not having to go fishing. <coughs> I won't have to act like Ryan Bundy on a fishing exposition inside a federal courthouse. <laughs> what an idiot. Stephen Myrie said that, yeah. And you know what? You know what Ryan told him? He says, I don't have time the ability to keep up with this back and forth. I expect my emotions to be taken serious. What, Myrie's? Oh, no, no. There's no snipers. No, no snipers. No video. No, no. No kill list. No. <laughs> That's a short list. Boy. Oh, Dirty Dan Love. You know, he was a special agent in charge out there on this uh, rogue cattle gathering. Pirates. Pirates, I tell you, they are. Uh, wicked man. He got fired. Any all these improprieties and abuse of power. And, yeah, the list goes long. And you know, he's not the. Ex you would think, oh, that. Yeah, did just you got bad apples. You know, uh, it's kind of the rule. Kind of the rule, and uh, looked to me like cover up, cover up, shoot to kill and cover up. I will go, uh, what was that other one? I'm back over here in Chrome. One more, one more. What was it? I did not run through. La, la, la. Here. I don't think I did. No, maybe. But <clears throat> I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to scroll through a little bit and then open up the uh, preview page. I don't think I ran. I did not. I know I didn't. I remember. This is... Uh, Will be continued to be added to refine. We'll close this, make room. Y'all can't see what I'm doing, but maybe you can. It's not now. All right, paste and go. <laughs> well, we're coming up with, uh, see this. 
coming up with not exactly to the link. I don't understand why that would be. Query da 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 da. Why you do this to me? It's a very simple. It's the link. Why didn't it go straight there? Maybe it's to the last and get to this one. <clears throat> Firefox. I don't. I don't hardly use it, but there is uh, certain tools and applications that I need Firefox for. Yes, I got a Windows 10 and all that. I just uh, and Chrome and Google. I just want to be sure that when I, I want to help, I want to help these people in government. I don't want to work them too hard. Get easy. But let me remind you, guard your words. What you say can and will be used against you. And I just don't understand some of these people and what they say. They're, they're like doddling coddles, right, Flash? Uh, that was our, uh, you and I, and, and uh, the most girl came along. She's so gullible. <laughs> now I'm just going to scroll through till I get to it. Uh, Grim Leftovers, Behind the Shed. I, I, I asked you with a hatchet. Uh, freak as ball, y'all. That was uh, the uh, New Year's Eve prediction show. And tonight... I will like you. I like you too much already. Now shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, yes, tonight. Tonight at uh, 6 Central. Grammy's not going to be on tonight because she's still not feeling well. Sick. Not at 6. Sick. No show. And no blast off tonight in the rocket chair. But we will be having the uh, Freakers Ball, y'all. And that uh, comes along at 10 o'clock my time in the Central. Uh, 9 o'clock. Where the great Grimner's at, in uh, an undisclosed location in the deserts of New Mexico, originating broadcast along with uh, Mighty Moose Girl. That will be tonight at 11 uh, p.m. Eastern. Uh, come on along. And we made last week we made predictions of what's going to happen uh, this next year. And sadly, uh, I made a grim pr prediction, not uh, a grim Grimner. A grim prediction, but grim indeed. That uh, we're gonna have to see where this plays out. And uh, I've I've uh, I've come home and decided to sit in uh, my roost for a little while and do these works that I need to do, to do and some other tasks. And uh, but I am I'm, I'm subject nap to uh, hop a dog and ride back out yonder because my prediction is. Uh, the government's going to come back for them, and I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, <clears throat> and like all movements, that this one is effectively uh, being battled and filtrated, and bad choices and bad words have uh, caused this great division. There's a indeed the poot wars rage on. Um, I could have been. <clears throat> That gamut. See, I got to do the, undo these control buttons. Sometimes it just jumps. It's like, what happened? I didn't do that. So I jumped to the page because I happened to be over it with my cursor. It makes me want to curse. So sure, I'm going to go end. Maybe I get there. Oh, and I go up. Negative. This is. You know what I better do? I go. Write it in real liberty media uh, forward slash a u t h o r forward slash vine or vinny or v n e firefox and then they have a hard time working with uh, chrome and and you know uh, uh, download stuff there so competing competing all in person, <clears throat> on purpose. So here I'll start and I'll scroll here. This is some of the work that uh, Flash and I have uh, uh, splashed together. And uh, the three-step plan to unfunk the world. The Dork Table podcast. It's the adult edition, armed and dangerous versus stoned and lazy. Well, the next time the man comes around, what's the chance that it'll be me or you in the squad car? And the road goes on forever in a perfect world. And you know what I, I titled that in uh, subconsciously uh, Hal's uh, the broadcast previous to that was uh, 
talking about the road. So here it is, and this is where I'm going to stop and open it up. It is the Radio Riding Series Preview. And I got a little more cl clever with the uh, uh, capitalization and pronunciation, or, or how I wrote it. So Standing Matters, the Bundy Ranch Standoff and Trial Report by Vincent Easley the second and again, that's me. And so we're going to click uh, Continue Reading. And uh, right after that, or before that, we'll stop, or my mom will shoot with Flash and Vinny. So we get to cut up and listen. Uh, he, he and I doing radio. Um, now, I'm no angel, don't get me wrong, but I've uh, for some time decided to uh, guard my words. And so Flash has plenty of Fs in to give for free and we was uh, out but we did get a backload so if you're the type of person that's not bothered by expletives uh, definitely come on and listen and uh, I I hijack uh, flash pretty often uh, I'll abandon him and then I'll come back and steal his shit <laughs> so we've talked to the first part here and <clears throat> this today was uh, the trial which is going to need a lot more and uh, so Thirteen and a half will be the final count. But how many times does it take? It's like a, the, what is that, the Tootsie, tootsie Pop? Uh, we'll see how many broadcasts it takes to get to the center and work our way back out. <clears throat> but this uh, especially great acclamation to uh, Shoji Volley. Um, Terry Nuneker, too, from the Roseburg uh, Beacon up in Oregon. Another great writer. Uh got another long list and I got a big stack of cards in the mainstream and that's all to be included so a great day in America this is from uh, January 8th remember I told you I wrote 10th earlier and I knew it was wrong uh, I'm gonna give you the first uh, paragraph and then I will invite you to read out your news and read the rest at readout news January January uh, 8th of 2018 marked the day when Elvis Presley would have been Wow, 93 years old. And to trump that great event, capitalized, no pun intended. <laughs> Good job. <clears throat> we had a landmark decision come down from the Nevada, uh, down from Nevada that made our country a greater, am I going to read this right, and return some of the liberty that had been stolen from us over the past 12 years. Uh, referring to the Obama era, uh, we have been uh, we have been shown that no matter how corrupt our bureaucrat bureaucrats act, or how tyrannical the judges and prosecutors are, we are still America under God and can win at all odds. This is a fluke that this happened. <clears throat> Ninety-eight percent conviction rate about or ninety-five. You know, this was a fluke. They got they got. They got lazy. They got careless. They're so used to getting away with their crimes and evils that, uh, yeah, prosecution uh, dropped the ball. And they are trying to bring charges again against double jeopardy over the dismissal with prejudice, meaning it cannot be tried again. What about the guys that uh, were convicted before? Same evidence, same Brady violation, same lies, yet they're in jail, they're in prison. Uh, what about the guys that took a plea deal? What about Jerry Delemus, who uh, took the uh, six years in Gloria Navarro, uh, didn't think that was quite good enough, and added a couple more for him. And he wasn't at the, what they called the, the standoff. Uh, Todd Engel, he stopped by for 45 minutes. Yeah, he's looking at another, I think, six or eight years. Uh, <clears throat> these are political prisoners because they go against what it is the uh, – these uh, yes. pirates, you're boiling. Hey, you know what? I, I've run through two hours, and I still have my voice, and I started without it even. So I've got what I left. I really uh, should stop it. Uh, <clears throat> somehow I feel like it's so important. But I think I will. And in here, where I end at the end, as my beginning and come back and pick it up again. And thank you, Sherry Duvalli. And there is my uh, first and only ever uh, published photograph. 
Now, Clive and Bennedy is his bet right there on his lapel. It says not guilty. And that is dismissed with prejudice after 700 days as a guest of the state. Gloria Navarro, ma'am, you are a criminal too. Don't act like you was doing something like lawful. Dan Hill, you know better than that. Are you really? Dan Hill, he's a bar attorney. She didn't. She only did it because she it was too obvious and she couldn't cover it up. She was uh, place it in, in the others and the other cases. What about Wayne Hage? Remember, we was talking about him. Uh, when one court failed to convict, they uh, they go shopping, venue shopping. I think it's called something like that. Take it to another court. Guess who they passed off of Wayne's case to? That's right. Did you guess Gloria Navarro? Si este es correcto. I, I would think uh, being the daughter of uh, Cubano immigrants that uh, she would have some more of a, a heart and compassion and understanding of people. Look here. Uh, hello, Hal. He replied, psychopaths in charge. <clears throat> Absolutely. Frontline. In a surprise ruling, Ammon Bunny released on house arrest. Uh-huh. Whatever it takes. Quit. Uh, this is something else that I'm going to be wanting to uh, to do different and make these videos where they're small and pop up, but I hadn't been able to figure out how that was. So there's uh, more of the information I packed into here. I'm putting all my, my live videos together in a string, and then I want to compare them with uh, the Review Journal, with, uh, with uh, <coughs> the or Oregonian, Drew. Hey, Drew. Oh, ha, huh, I can't stop. I would have been a liar. Just... Remember uh, Flash me talking about being in that proper vibrational frequency. I'm going to stop here. Here, uh, here, this right here, the voice of rebellion with uh, myself as guest with uh, Chris J. Over at UCY, uh, give the outline of the Vegas shooting, the 1 October event, and uh, talk to, about the uh, lead up to Bundy Ranch. Here I am in the, the famous Forrest Gump moment. Uh, on stage with Clive and Bundy and Sheriff Gillespie who <coughs> headed for the hills and let 200 federales do as they will. Thank you, Wiley Freeman. And there. And there. Here's the Bundy Ranch 20-year BLM land battle, putting it all on the line. You got a great playlist over here at Real Liberty Media. Here's some uh, here's some artunication amused uh for the uh, the paraphrase plagiarist and uh, the Arlog preview, why our heroes are different now? Perhaps to know that, we'll first need to know why our villains are different now. <clears throat> Is the truth written, painted like a picture hanging on the wall? A mirror, mirror, tell it all. Tell me now, tell me how. Now found shattered, dying, the decayed line. Raging in the light, torn, lovelorn, lost, ne'er to go gently, ere the good night. I wrote that. Right. <clears throat> I cobbled it together in part in uh, plagiarism and paraphrasisms as the uh, <clears throat> alter ego, the paraphrase plagiarist. Life imitates art, or art imitates life. Let's follow the tale of trials and troubles from our past and the world today in the climatic history of villainry. It's a ponder gander, the wisecrack edition. A look and listen. The good, the bad, and the smugly is the villain's creed. It's really no creed at all. So wisecrack is uh, breaking sense is the new normal in a postmodern world of today. The new normal, the post-modern, more to talk about. And here it is. I made a picture of it. And uh, you can't see it listening right now. So you'll have to come and do it later. We get to the political prisoners. we got Jerry DeLamas. What a great man. I, I have the last interview with him before he was arrested. Uh, thankfully, uh, my, my good friend, 
Jason Patrick is, is free after a year or something uh, <clears throat> that he did and still carries paper with him, taking rights like the bare arms. Uh, great man. Love him. <clears throat> I called him George Clooney. <laughs> Doty from UCY. She and I did an interview. Him. It's funny. <clears throat> then he used Clooney as code name up and now you're uh, another behind the scenes uh, part of history. You know, so then we go beyond the Bundy Ranch. Uh, I went up to uh, Salt Lake City with uh, Jeanette Finnecum and Carol Bundy. Uh, Loving Liberty is uh, sponsored at the uh, uh, up in Salt Lake City and Sandy in the auditorium up there. And here's plenty of, of lists to bring you back into uh, uh, Jeanette and uh, Carol and and they're standing where where you can find them online. And uh, uh, that's the Bundy Bog Spot and. Uh, uh, one Cowboy Stand uh, for Jeanette Finnegum. The boys Finnegum Stand for Freedom. One Cowboy Stand on Twitter. And that's One Cowboy Stand for Freedom.com. Uh, Bendy Ranch .blogspot.com. The Bendy Ranch at Bendy Ranch on Facebook. Uh, also on uh, on the Twitter. So now we have uh, this is this guy. He, if you don't know who Brian Hyde is, check him out. I was talking about him a while ago. Uh, who's next? Uh, the who's next org on Facebook on the Twitter also loving Liberty loving Liberty uh, dot net it's on Facebook too <clears throat> so now we get over uh, here's Dwayne from Hellboy that's Marine love you Sergeant Mo um, <clears throat> we'll tell this story more I'm just gonna keep on uh, scrolling the political prisoners a long train of abuse by Todd Engel I've republished that to uh, WordPress really a scathing letter <clears throat> the world we're in today that they're confined in if you cannot do great things do small things in a great way this is me Vinny RLM a radio standing in the gap connecting voices I invite you to explore more and ponder gander join the journey and what matters worldwide and the press is on yay Brian Hyde who's next so, pass some more. Chuck O'Shelly, great friend. I'm going to keep going, keep going. There's a list of uh, broadcasts that's not complete that uh, Chuck and I did together. I did on his show. And a shout out right here to the true press and not the uh, mainstream media. Floating about in a world of clap. This is your news. They try to sell you. They try to sell it to you as mainstream. It is anything but that. It is not media as the word used in modern thought. It is propaganda. And here I intended to edit this part. I say pressed in print is truth, but I think I decided to uh, uh, pressed. Uh, I'll have to work on that error. Pressed, print, pressed, or something like that. Yeah, the truth is print, pressed. Pressed out, lies. But if it's in black and white, got to be true or is it hard to know what history really is because of the paid propagandist you think maybe they just want to be in control of the way the story ends MSM <clears throat> prostitutes the power persuasion of public opinion it's a persecution because they try and convict not only people but uh, contrary ideas to the uh, status quo and establishment <clears throat> real liberty media rlm is a liberty-based alternative to the corporate lame-ass propaganda we affectionately refer to around these parts as the clap that's not the applause kind and it's not what you need to see a doctor about because there is no cure not from those sources not from those sources out there. Most people refer to those sites and sources as mainstream media or news. Well, they're neither. Not at all. So come on along, Elaine. There's a lot more here and more to come. And I think it may be the time to stop for the day. Now, I'm going to take a little break before I come back in and 
Um, this is a, a brand new endeavor for me and how I'm doing this. So I have to go and cut all the edits and I doubt I take all the and ums out. <laughs> Just so you know. They're uh, verbal commas. Hello, Flash. Flash. Let's see. Look. Okay. So here I am back. I don't. Uh, I can uh, go back. Hold on. I'm going to go back and click some buttons. Does that sound like fun? I think that's going to. I I think my last words in life will be. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> so, uh huh. I click that button. You can see a, a Facebook and I mean a YouTube. Now cover that one. Uh, WordPad. Hey, that's me. I was interviewed Channel Three. Uh, what happened to uh, Antonio? They did Antonio Castellan uh, was in Bunkerville and <laughs> interviewed me there. And here in Vegas this uh, past year, uh, by another Channel Three. Oh, tag spanky. I'll work on it. <clears throat> it's probably going to be something like Captain Spanky or something like that. You be Spanky and I'll be the captain again. Today I'm Capitani uh, Vinny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have you found it for me? Okay. I'm, I'm pushing buttons at the moment. Thank you. Okay. And as part of uh, this artunication, which didn't take as much place today, uh, I have music, which will end up being cut out. Now, the first, I think, a uh, minute and 20 seconds of this uh, video that I'm going to go fetch up, you have to stop at that point, or you will be inferring that which it actually it has no meaning and <clears throat> I will let you listen to it as I close out I'm gonna have to go over here to history and fetch it up <clears throat> and this is for uh, Kelly Stewart there is an honesty and a purity about her there there's a little girl there that uh, is misunderstood that uh, I, I think I, I think I do get that girl she she looks that the world be right. And her tea parties, I imagine, as a little girl, the division of the cookies and the teas is right and proper, fair. She, like uh, we titled our broadcast, the Tuesdays that I jump ship on, uh, seek, seeks that perfect world. It's going to be hard to find. So... This is a this is sweet child of mine. It's a bluegrass cover by Thunder and Rain, and uh, I'll just go ahead and let it play on out, and uh, I'll come around and say howdy over, mute myself, come back over to the chat, <clears throat> and remember this isn't a love song about being a, a love with Kelly Stewart. This is an admiration of the person she is, and and that quality that I think we all would be much more enriched if we had it ourselves and that that uh, that inner child that um an, <clears throat> an innocence uh, people would have some say oh she's naughty and i i got to know her well enough i i understand kelly and <clears throat> i uh, <clears throat> excuse me i uh have do have great admiration respect and yes, that love that I talked about in the beginning. You know what? I didn't. I don't think I read that part. I want to grab that. I'm going to make sure that this gets in here. I'm back to my favorite here. And I'll have to find it. I left a lot of stuff out. <coughs> so that's that. And uh, wait for me. Wait for me. Okay, here it is. So you're going to say... You're going, to, uh, you're going to hear me say a lot of times, uh, I really really like uh, this person or another, uh, and even use the word love. I really love some of these people, and I do. Uh, and I'm in great respect and admiration to Bundy's. Uh, go ahead. 
Yeah, call me. Uh, uh, what what did you call me? Oh, <laughs> yeah, lots of good names. Anyways, try better. So, for those of you that understand what I mean in, in what I said there, there's really no no more need for uh, any further exp uh, explanation. And for those of you that don't get it, there are no words for you to, to help. Uh, I'm going to turn off my mic, and I'm going to let you listen to this. Remember the first, I think it's a minute and 20 seconds, and then the part that goes, sweet child of mine, love, all that stuff. No. Think of the innocence and the rightness and the purity and the desire for a, for a perfect world. That's what we all want. So I'm going to be back next Friday at noon central, 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Grammy's taking the night off and get well. <clears throat> and I think I need some lemon tea for my voice. Uh, so Grimner and Moose Girl tonight on the Freakers Ball, y'all. And we got, uh, we're got we going to have some results. Y'all better come tune in. That is at 9 Mountain Time uh, tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna find a name for the dork table with uh, Flash Rooney and <clears throat> I, no doubt uh, I won't be able to resist coming in to torment him or hijacking him. <laughs> uh, it, if you uh, if you have desire to, for communication with uh, Hal Anthony, uh, you can get him at uh, Mark on the Beast Mark on the Beast at Proto, protonmail.com. Also, I think he still keeps his uh, uh, Yahoo email with the same address, Mark on the Beast at yahoo.com, also at proton.com. Uh, he hangs out here uh, late in the evenings of a Saturday night. Uh, come on over and maybe give us a visit. If you ain't got no questions, then just tell us what you think. Now, Sunday, uh, we play trivia here in the RLM chat room. Some uh, real Alex Trebek wannabes, and we even got real Canadians, eh? So come on along, play some uh, trivia. Uh, that kicks off anywhere, well, at noon, but uh, sometimes we start a little bit early, and sometimes Grimner starts a little bit early, but at uh, noon, my time, which is uh, 11 uh, mountain 10 uh, Pacific we make it uh, one o'clock on the East Coast Grimner plays some blues and some other fine music and uh, it's very relaxing and as long as you can just take a break from that chat because we got fast fingers in here and smart people smartest uh, wits then we got uh, at three o'clock Eastern time Hal Anthony comes along for the lessons behind the woodshed. If you, uh, if you're an uh, activist, if you oppose the corruption within this occupation upon us, you need to arm yourself. And if you have to go to the Second Amendment, then it's gone too far, and it is way, way too late. People that that want uh, civil war or want revolution. Please, go watch some old movies and, and get it romanticized in your war. Or uh, do some actual history and see how that turned out for the people. How many millions and millions and millions of people killed by the government? That, that's the biggest mass murderers is government. Do it and like it or we kill you. Oh, goody. I did not forget. Almost did again, Drew. This is my friend Drew. We met in Vegas, and again, we got to meet up again in California in Lompoc. And I met Hal, uh, Hellboy. <clears throat> this is kind of long, but I'm going to read it. So I better, and because I, I promise I did, I better take a drink of water. Hey, guess what time it is, Flash? <clears throat> flash, Flash, Flash. <clears throat> are you going to Are you gonna give this report? It's due. It's coming up one minute. Get to the get to the microphone, Flash. <clears throat> well, if you're not, I will. Be short and sweet. I expect them any moment now. But do you know that cannabis can? That's right. 
not only does cannabis come in the forms of things that they call marijuana and the devil's lettuce, also known by many, many, many other names. And what use do we find in the hemp plant? What problems the world would serve, be served so well had it not been for that dirty old rat, asslinger? You bad man. But, yes, it's true. It is now 420 somewhere. And that, I say, salute. Wait a minute. Do you ever notice how a dog will <coughs> turn around several times? I'm not talking about chasing her tail in circles, but turn around and around and around before they lay down. This is long. I said it's a <coughs> minute and a half read. <coughs> I don't know if I can do that fast or not. But. Well, to answer the question about the dog turning around and around is because one good turn deserves another. Also, of importance and note, is one, two wrongs don't make a right, but three lefts do. Drew, I'm glad to know you. This is another guy that I say, hey, I love you, brother. Uh, if you're a people person and, and you like, like people and you know good people and bad people give you bad vibes, Drew is the one of the first order. What a guy. Glad I know you, Drew. And uh, if uh, if you're not happy to be here live, I'm going to be giving you this link. And it, I'll save you like a whole lot of time having to listen through. And you can skip right to the end. <laughs> and I appreciate those that <coughs> have endured the two, nearly two and a half hours. <laughs> Gee. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll just do an hour. But uh, it's all uh, on to go. I think we'll have uh, a little more time together. Uh, ben and I, and that guy's amazing. So I just like, he, he wasn't in there on the team view. So he's just really kind and patient and then sit there and listen. <clears throat> so uh, Drew says to please read the, the 28th Amendment. Did you realize there's so many? There's a lot. Like, what? 2030, or no, in 3023, we'll have uh, Amendment 568. <clears throat> Please read and afford. I'm not going to afford. I don't do that. <clears throat> and I usually don't read these chain things, but this is a friend, and he asked me to, to afford it to 20 people, so uh, I think we'll get that many at least. Please read and forward. This will only take one minute. I think it's going to take me longer than a minute. To read uh, 28th Amendment, 35 states and counting. Uh, said it again, it's going to take, I feel, keep saying it's going to take me a minute. It's going to take a lot longer than that. Our present situation, children of a Congress, mem uh, children of Congress members do not have to pay back their college student loans. Staffers of college family members are also exempt from having to pay back student loans. Members of Congress can retire at full pay after only one term. Members of Congress have exempted themselves from many of the laws that they have passed under which ordinary citizens must live. For example, they are exempt from any fear of persecution for sexual harassment. And as the latest example, they have exempted themselves from health care reforms in all of its aspects. <clears throat> we must not tolerate an elite class of such people elected as public servants and then putting themselves above the law. I truly don't care if they're Democrat, Republican, independent or whatever the self-serving must stop governors of 35 states have filed suit against the federal government for imposing unlawful burdens upon their states it only takes 38 38 of uh, the 50 states to can 
convene a constitutional convention. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, interject, very bad idea. That's a bad can of worms to open right there. You figure out another way of uh, fixing what's wrong. But, uh, yeah, you could uh, you could have that as a, a little trick there, and pretty soon you're like, what happened? We don't have a constitution no more. Nah, nah, we, we decided to go start with something else. Why? How can? What did you do? How'd you do that? Uh, you know that little uh, uh, convening of the constitutional convention. Better check on that. <clears throat> and perhaps maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, prove me wrong. Uh, proposed Twenty Eighth Amendment to the United States Constitution: Congress shall make no law that applies to the citizens of the United States that does not apply equally to the senators and or representatives and Congress shall make no law that applies to the senators and or representatives that does not apply equally to the citizens of the United States. Uh, again, <laughs> just because you make a law and make everybody suffer under the same uh, consequences doesn't mean it's necessarily right, does it? But them being exempted is obviously wrong. You know, Go back to uh, Brian Hyde. Again, I was listening to a second or third time that broadcast. Uh, about right and wrong. I, I better just pick this paper up right here and, and paraphrase him again. Uh, and this ain't no fluffing tough that, uh, <coughs> that I'm done. Where'd you go? Oh, it's on this back page. Here it is. Let's, let's say it again. And this is the unraveling of right and wrong, this postmodern world, this uh, uh, the new way of thinking. The, what do they call it? The, the, uh, the postmodern world, yeah. So ideology that uh, can be further explored, explored at Wisecrack. Uh, you can find them on YouTube and Twitter and their own account of uh, Wisecrack.com. Man, these guys are very talented, very understanding of the way that uh, the entertainment industry expresses uh, that uh, their expression that seeps into it to us, unbeknownst or uh, or not. So, yes, this uh, unraveling, and and Brian reminds us to stay moored, uh, remain anchored. And cherish this truth, cherish the truth, even and especially when it is inconvenient. And I, I'm not going to drop the mic because uh, it's attached to my headphones. But I'm going to mute it. And I'm going to uh, let y'all listen to uh, the Bluegrass cover from Thunder Rain, Sweet Child of Mine. You know, way, way better than the, uh, the original. So we'll take it out, and uh, I'll be back later, probably tomorrow, working through to uh, bring all this edit. Here it comes, and uh, you can even watch it, but no, you can't, because I'm going to cut it out. Ah, I think I can't hear it. Wait, it's mute, muted, that's why. You can't hear it either. There it is. And I'm mute. See you in chat.
Yeah. A uh, way lot better than uh, whoever that was that originally did it. <laughs> I bet some people say no, but I bet you'd be some that uh, do agree. I'd like to thank you guys for coming along. Uh, right here, RealLibertyMedia.com. You find some uh, interesting conversation if you want to cover and talk about some freedom. And uh, if you'd like to talk about it out loud and broadcast it, um, if you know me, get a hold of me. If you don't know me, get a hold of, uh, get a hold of me and get to know me. And uh, we got a place for you right here at RealLibertyMedia.com. And uh, I would encourage those of uh, other ideology, uh, other ways of thinking, other beliefs and notions that uh, know that your voice would not be censored neither. Um, God, I hope we don't get no crazies over here. Whew. That'd be <laughs> ah, just kidding. <clears throat> so thanks again, folks. And uh, I'm going to come back probably here in tomorrow, too, with Flash and Tuesday. And then again, right here for the second edition, which will actually be more like the first edition. This one right here is like building the broadcast. And so from here in the actual end, it'll be chapter one. But it might take a little bit to get it all together. And if you want to wait to the end for the, for the book, <laughs> it might be a while. Anyways, thanks again. I appreciate you. And uh, I'll kill this thing. If I can figure out how. Uh, it's one of these buttons. I know it is. Not that one. Not that one. This is all new. We put this all together. Uh, Grim did. I say we. He is a wonderful guy. Such great help. So it's all new and we had to switch over. But here I am with the stop button. Let me, let me tell you before I do that. How we started. The song that we introed with. There's something going on and then the outro think about how that all ties together where, where do we go from here what are we going to do what are you going to do you're going to stand idly by see there's one that i left off of forgotten <laughs> forgetting it's a bit shoot it's called the hangman it's that uh what matters worldwide my bit shoot over there and i put that up a year ago uh last fall for the bundies that uh, the gallows is best served. We well, I'm gonna have to go read it. So can't do that. Got to read it to close. As a, <coughs> I intended partly to open. Like I said, hey, we shut this down. It's doing all kinds of stuff. But there is no worries because I I don't care. Don't matter if I make a mistake. Uh, stutter that sort of thing because um we just uncobbled in words at one point in time so here's this is yeah this is my uh oh you can't see it because i'm not on firefox here's uh here's the hangman i'm gonna go get it and so i can read it hey if you guys aren't on bit shoot uh tell youtube to get bit <laughs> and come on over to uh bit shoot and uh, you can also find them on twitter facebook but it's a great way to put your content out your videos and not well some people might call you names or something because maybe if you're different but you can uh, not be censored for whatever reason this is an old video and i give the uh, in creative commons i met made it they which means that I downloaded it and copied it from somebody else and took words from the context, not out of context, <clears throat> and wrote this. Who is he for whom you raise the gallows tree? And since you can probably hear that, I'll stop it. Who is he for whom you raise the gallows tree? He... Who serves me best, said he, that is a hangman. This guy, uh, he's uh, he's in the video. He starts it out and the last guy in it who asked that question. Who is he for whom you raised the gallows tree? 
He who serves me best, said he. The motto in the courthouse is a question from Virgil, uh, quotation from Virgil. It translates to as having been warned, learn justice. Be, by remaining silent, he who can and ought to forbid something. Let me try it again. By remaining silent, he who can and ought to forbid something commands it. You're just as guilty for doing nothing. Hey, uh, there is a H, goitus, and it comes from the law of war and peace. And under section seven, uh, 107, la-di-da, 1976, I'm going to call that the year of the tortoise. I think that's when they started the Endangered Species Act. I'm not saying uh, th things don't need protection. Don't get me wrong. But lies to get policy changed and to take people's lives, livelihood? No, sir. No. And I'm going to, by the time I'm done, I'm going to present without any doubt the Bundys are justified. Oh, so there's the uh, court orders that uh, said... Get your cows off. Uh, get your cows out of town by sundown, partner. Well, which we saw with uh, Wayne Hage. Hey, he he uh, beat them in court until uh, finally got another judge says, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no moo in '92 and cattle free in '93. <laughs> sure, on shuckling pig. And on and on it goes. So what are you gonna do? Nothing. Do something. But fighting for the First Amendment, at least, certainly. There in Bunkerville, that the trial, and with those that have and do continue to stand in the gap, not only for the Bundys, not only for the Hammonds. You know how big that list of people is? Oh, there it's, well, look it up. It's well documented. I'll be bringing more stuff about it. That's for certain. This is also for the censored, the censored voices of social media. Uh, Sherry Duvalli, uh, well, just one of that huge list. The uh, activist post, uh, uh, Mar was a march against Monsanto too. Uh, Fifteen something thousand pages uh, removed from Facebook. Uh, how many are back? Twitter, they they followed the same suit. Do you want do you want media? What is media? So, oh here, I have this. It's very nice. You put it some bread. What's going on? Yeah, extra mustard is better. For certain media or press. We got a great press. Put the grapes in there and squeeze it down, and all them good juices come up out of there. Mm mm mm. Fresh. You don't want any vinegar. Boy, there's a lot more story to that. The stink, the personal odor of one in particular. And one of these top media, national top, top, way up there. Famous, famous, famous. And, and the others I met. We're going to talk more about the mainstream media. What a bunch of dirty prostitutes they are. Perfect to be in Vegas for prostitution. And then, uh, yes, prosecution as well. Team up with the state. But there are those exemptions. And uh, I'm also going to talk about them, about the particulars. And the Review Journal, uh, I, I guess it's maybe standard operating procedure to, that the paper would do that. And if it wasn't, then it should be. But uh, filing to have... Uh, a bunch of this stuff that had been uh, sealed open because that's what the whole Bundy trial was is uh, sealed hearings and uh, banned public uh, and the jury out. You can't hear that even to the point where you cannot object out loud. They have to call for a sidebar because you don't want the jurors to hear any objection to uh, the prosecution. I mean the persecution we more apt. 
If you don't think the Bundy situation matters to you, then you don't understand. If you love the wildlife and the wilds and the hiking or hunting and a fishing, uh, if you're a animal rights activist, uh, an environmentalist, let's really seek out the truth. Is the are these policies in fact benefiting us and the wildlife? So poor management uh, is evident yearly for the the fires that burn just rage out of control and i saw m e bundy and yes and that's why i think i know who it is that's taking up their post good job and uh reminding me also for this message uh, to you is log it graze it or watch it burn well if uh you burn them out that's that's a technique what the old villain. Uh, I wish we'd go back and get that picture here. The old villain uh, portrayed of old days. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Hold on. I want that to be in there. I'm sure. It's a bad world we live in, and it's all trickery. I need to figure it out and quit worrying about who's party is better because it's Tweedledee and Tweedledum and here the guy is here he is yes I made that into a picture by changing fonts and all that stuff and <clears throat> adding that little picture and so this is what I made this is our tunication our log and I'm gonna get it and just bring it over the chat here in a minute when I actually do <laughs> in the broadcast there's a lot to say, and I, 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 as I got closer and closer and, and having more and more yet to do, I said, I, I just, this is a lot to do. It might take me, uh, not, no, my, to, you know, mites are a little bit even living on chicken butts, as uh, I've always heard it. <clears throat> Here's, here it is, about the leaders and why our heroes are different, and uh, a special, uh, Gratitude to uh, Wisecrack for their uh, inspirational muse. I call it a muse and uh, our tunication about life imitating art or <clears throat> the other way around. Well, I'm done, folks. I'm uh, actually, I don't think you're supposed to actually, <laughs> actually use that word that's overused or something. But, anyways, still hot. <laughs> Oh, that's the record. That's not the broadcast. I need to put them side by side. Here you are. There it is. There it is. It says on air, and it says stop broadcast. Bye-bye. See y'all. Shit, shit, shit. Whoa.
Oh, we have to go back this way around. Alright. Huh. 